Hi, I'm Stuck, and uh, this is Bounty Thursdays. Mm. Oh yeah, this episode is sponsored by Bug Crowd. Thanks. And since we're talking about Bug Crowd, they have this tool called Hunt that Jason Haddix and a couple of other guys have been working on for a couple of years. And then they, then they stopped maintaining that. But the great news is that it's coming back again. So the plugin has currently just been um, refurbished. Yeah, there's a bunch of people just looking at it right now. And maybe we'll be, we'll be able to get a new update coming out soon. Happy for that. Also, Codingo over at Bug Crowd has just dropped his tool called DNS Cool. Me and all these names of the tools. <laughs> so the purpose of this tool is to create brute force word list for you for DNS enumeration. So you take a bunch of domains like targets and you put those in a list. Then you take a list of subdomains or parts of the subdomain, let's say you have a dev and a test instance and such, and put them in an append file. Then you run DNS cool together with targets with the append and it's going to create a word list for you that contains all these permutations of that potential inserts that you want to create. This is great for huge targets like, let's say, um, Yahoo, that's had all this YQL kind of stuff. So I'm definitely gonna check that out. And since we're mentioning Yahoo, live hacking events kind of gets to your mind and it segues us into this next part because HackerOne has teamed up for their second live hacking event this year and it's a virtual one and they have teamed up with PayPal. It's called H1 2006 and it's a private invite only event. And um, but the best thing is there's a CTF running right now and it's going to run all the way until Sunday. And the best three of the ports that meet the requirements, hey, will win an invite to the event. Sweet. So if you're interested in winning your slot into the or trying to win the slot in the H1 2006 live hacking event, head over to hackone.com slash H1 dash CTF and try to smash that. There's a bunch of people already completed it, but that doesn't mean that your report isn't the best one. So you have until Sunday, 12 p.m. PDT. Time's running. Get those reports in. But maybe, maybe that kind of challenge isn't, isn't your game and you just want to practice your XXS skills again. Hey, Pawn Function has created a couple of challenges. I think it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight, or nine, or ten different challenges for you to try out. And it's over at xxs.pawnfunctions.com. They're everywhere from easy to medium, and who knows when he's gonna drop some of those really hard ones in there, but it's really, really fun. So head over there and play some of those. It's a good exercise. And if you're up for a real challenge though, a real challenge, there are some unsolvable, look, there are some unsolvable exercises over at uh, Port Swigger. And the research team has put together a collection of really, really hard challenges that uh, they weren't able to pop and ask community for help. And actually last week, one of them actually got solved. So if you're really into that you know, thinky, thinky thing, maybe that's for you. Okay, Project Discovery team has done it again. They did not only release one tool, they released two. And the first one that's really, really interesting is Chaos. And Chaos is a DNS dataset API that's currently is collecting data and um, analyzing all the changes that are in the subdomain space of X amount of targets. And they got a lot of hosts collected and all you need to do is head over to chaos.projectdiscovery.io and you can use download the data sets there. If you have been invited to their beta though, you're able to download the client and you can get it 
directly from your command line. So all you need to do is just chaos minus D and whatever domain you have, and it's gonna pull all that information out so you can put that into your automation flow. Super, super, super cool. And one way to really spice that process up is to use their second tool called HTTPX, which is strongly influenced, in my humble opinion, from HTTP Probe, but it's really, really, really fast. Which is written in Go, and it's a multi-purpose HTTP toolkit, which allows you to run multiple probers using their uh, retriable HTTP library. Um, and it's really, really cool, and you can run a lot of in amount of threads at the same time. So what you're doing is you're taking your domain in, boom, you're sending it through HTTPX, and all these results come out. So you can look for title, contact length, status code, and, and just output that, for instance, into a JSON file. Once again, to add it further down your automation flow. Super cool, and I love this kind of community contribution toolkits that the project discovery team are dropping. Super inspirational. Good stuff. Also, Price Axinum has been updated, and, and more and more people are getting onto that project, which is so cool. And the latest addition that I tried out um, last night was the ability to just spin up a box and do whatever changes you do to it. Then you back up all the information, store it, and it's shutting the box down, so it's not costing you anything, it's not running, and then you can just restore it back up again. It's gonna restore all your stuff back to your box, so you're ready to set it go. It is perfect for people that maybe just need a box up and running for a short while to get those responses coming in. It's not your part of your continuous flow, or maybe like me, I'm trying a lot of stuff out, so I need to verify that. Uh, I a fresh box, spin it up, but I have all this information that I want to have a continuous uh, part of that testing, like files and word lists and such. So yeah, I think it's really, really cool. Kudos for uh, working on that. All right. Make sure you get your calendar out, because on June the 13th, you need to clear your schedule. Because that's the day me, John Hammond, CyberMentor, and Nahamsek are organizing NahamCon. It's a two-day conference. The Saturday is going to be all these talks. Seven different speakers in the AppSec area is going to present some amazingly cool talks. We got speakers like Tom Nom Nom, Security, Sam Waiko, Chloe Misadagi. BitK, C. Shano, Def Pram, Sniff, Yay Cram, and John Hammond. And on Sunday, there's gonna be three dedicated workshops. If you're into the bounty space, if you're into AppSec, don't miss this. This is amazing stuff. John Hammond has been working on the CTF and um, Nahamsek's been doing an amazing amount of job to get these, in these speakers together to present high quality content for you. So make sure you schedule June the 13th starting 9 a.m. PDT. I think that's about everything we have for this week. If you feel like Bounty Thursdays is adding any value to your life, leave a comment in the comment selection below and head over to buymeacoffee.com slash stokefrederick and uh, buy me a beer. Um, okay, until next time, stay curious and uh, I love you. Be safe.